All right, guys, back out with Armin Creighton 8S EXP RTR. This thing is an amazing truck as far as durability. Stock electronics gives this thing plenty of power. Last bash, I had no major brakes except for this back rod end right here, which I just switched out. And also one of these, uh, this front tower uh, brace rod end right here, which I switched out. If you can see in there, an M2C aluminum rod end. I'm going to do that to all the brace ends eventually. That's a nice little small upgrade you can do to this thing to make it that much tougher. Still all stock electronics. I'm running a 28 tooth pinion on this 1100 kV stock motor and max punch on the ESC. The shocks were still in good shape after the last bash. There was no bends on the shock shafts. I did go ahead and do some reinforcing on the body. I just kind of grilla taped it inside there. It's kind of hard to see with the black paint and also some shoe goo up in the corners right here just to stop that from cracking. But overall, this body is beautiful and it's holding up really good so far. All right, guys, not going to babble too much. I'm going to give this thing a nice freestyle first out here at one of my favorite freestyle spots. Again, big uh, shout out and thanks to Armin Horizon Hobby uh, for listening to the bashers and uh, making this thing a blast straight out of the box. Uh, with some nice electronics and uh, EXB tough. All right, guys, let's see what's up. Had to jump over it. <laughs> oh. There she is. Oh. Yeah, she made it. All right, guys, about to do the ultimate test. I'm going to send it off of this cliff. It's hard to tell by the GoPro, but this is about a 50 foot drop, a massive cliff right here. So you can see how high up I am. So I'm gonna send her off of here with no fear because it's EXB tough. Oh, God, that was a hard slap. <laughs> and it survived. All right, guys, here's a shot of that cliff I just jumped off of. That sucker is pretty high and she, uh, she nailed it with no flaw. Oh, on her feet. Ah, looks like I lost a tire. <laughs> yep, ah, part of it come raining down on me. Looks like I got a spare. Just a quick tip guys, in between packs, you wanna check all your hardware and your screws and nuts and bolts and make sure everything's tight. I had a link back here that was loose and also a loose pillow ball right here. Uh, these trucks are heavy, they take a beating so it's, it's prone to uh, have hardware come loose. I also love this beautiful red Arma T handle. You can undo your uh, wheel nuts with style. Another quick tip is adding a piece of Velcro going this way across the battery trays. Of course you got your stock uh, Velcro right there, but if you have an upside down landing or really bad nose or something like that, uh, without extra piece of Velcro going this way, you're prone to bust your battery straps and your batteries come flying out. I get this roll at Walmart, it's pretty cheap, and you can cut it to length, and you got little slits in your battery trays, and you can run you an extra piece of Velcro to hold everything down.
Oh!